Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames. In this video, we'll be talking about more people coming out to say the same exact thing that Kanye West has been saying. Now guys, you may say, who is this who is trying to imitate our girl Star Flames? Well, it is actually still your girl Star Flames. What happened is that my initial Star Flames TV channel with 7.7 K followers was hacked by a Russian. Listen, these Russians are hacking um, channels left, right, and center. And YouTube, listen, I don't know, but these people seem to be a part of many of these corporation that makes computers and um, help to design these platforms. That's just in my opinion, not saying that's the case. So because my channel has been hacked and I'm working with YouTube to get it back, I have created this channel here so that you guys can find me and you know what is going on so you know that it's not someone who is trying to imitate your girl Star Flames, but it is actually Star Flames who had to um, rename this channel Star Flames TV. So guess what? I'll be uploading here. I'll be going live here. No, I'm not monetized on this channel. So here's what we're going to do. For now, I have PayPal who wants to send me tips, donations, it is greatly accepted. I'm going to figure out how to get a cash app today because I'm a Caribbean gal and we don't have cash app here. But guess what? There's always a way to everything. And I've seen a few TikTokers in my region talking about how they got their cash app account. And I'm going to go back and watch a few of those videos. Yes, guys, I know you're going to say, Star, be careful. You've been hacked. Please don't do anything shady again or anything that looks suspicious. I hear you guys. I hear you and I'm going to be careful, okay? Thank you. And you guys have been so amazing. You guys have been searching for me. You guys have been messaging me on Instagram. Man, let, let me tell you something. I love and appreciate you guys so much. You have no damn idea how much I love and appreciate you guys. But not to worry. Listen, the Russians may have hacked our initial channel but we're like hell we're gonna get that channel back and we're gonna come back bigger better better than ever and even on this channel we are gonna go with full force we're coming on this channel with a vengeance we're not giving up okay so let's get into the video no we're talking about mr kanye west because it seems as though more people are coming out now to say the same thing that kanye west has been canceled for isn't that crazy no, you may say, what are you talking about, Star? Who is saying what? Okay, let me tell you guys. So, we know that Takeoff was recently murdered, right? So, this guy, I forgot his name, is a manager now at Starbucks. He used to be in the music industry as a producer. Now, this guy is letting us know that the black community needs to stop doing music that negatively impacts and influence our own community because these producers and Kanye sh showed us who those producers that controls the black music industry are right this guy's saying these producers they don't want that kind of music in their community but they are encouraging the black community to keep spewing aid crime and violence in their community and this guy's saying listen guys you need to wake up do not do what they're asking you to do because they are not doing it in their community they don't want it in their community isn't that what kanye west has been saying isn't this what kanye got canceled for listen I'm gonna play that clip, then I'll get back with the rest of my commentary. Seeing that a rapper from Migos died, I just wanted to go ahead and make a video about something I have a unique experience in. So I directed a bunch of rappers, Main, Snoop Dogg, you know, uh, Lil Yachty, the list goes on and on and on, okay? I learned a lot of things um, and I have left the industry um, largely over my political beliefs, but there is something I want to impart to people to hopefully, you know, make some sort of change happen. So I have a challenge to rappers and I know some of you still follow me. I know a bunch of the celebrity blogs still follow me from trying to get news from music videos and things like that. So here's the truth. The truth is this, a bunch of young black male rappers keep dying. You know who's not dying? Record executives. The record executives that push for them to continue to make songs and create a culture that is obsessed with death, drugs, and sex. Period. The industry is obsessed with it, but those record executives, they're not dying because they don't push this culture on their own people. But they're encouraging you to push it on yours, and they're paying you handsomely to do it. 
The reality is I know a lot of you. A lot of you are good people, your family guys. You're not the image that you put out there to the world. Why? Why don't you be the example? Stand up. I challenge you. Be the example. Make music about the culture you want to see. Don't just get online today and talk about how, you know, whenever a rapper makes it, his own people take him down. Don't just make the of seeing that a rapper from Migos died. I just wanted to go ahead and make a video about something I have a unique experience in. So I directed a bunch of rappers, people like Gucci Mane, Snoop Dogg, you know, uh, Lil Yachty, the list goes on and on and on, okay? I learned a lot of things um, and I have left the industry um, largely over my political beliefs, but there is something I want to impart to people to hopefully, you know, make some sort of change happen. So I have a challenge to rappers and I know some of you still follow me. I know a bunch of the celebrity blogs still follow me from trying to get news from music videos and things like that. So here's the truth. The truth is this, a bunch of young black male rappers keep dying. You know who's not dying? Record executives. The record executives that push for them to continue to make songs and create a culture that is obsessed with death, drugs, and sex, period. The industry is obsessed with it, but those record executives, they're not dying because they don't push this culture on their own people, but they're encouraging you to push it on yours, and they're paying you handsomely to do it. The reality is I know a lot of you. A lot of you are good people, your family guys. You're not the image that you put out there to the world. Why? Why don't you be the example? Stand up. I challenge you. Be the example. Make music about the culture you want to see. Don't just get online today and talk about how, you know, whenever a rapper makes it, his own people take him down. Don't just make the... Boom. Isn't that what Kanye West has been saying? I mean, Kanye West may not be as articulate but hasn't Kanye West been telling us guys this hasn't Kanye been proving this to us Kanye West is showing us who controls what and if you dare speak out against them what happens to you now this guy is letting us know that this is what they want black rappers to do spew hate spew spew violence and at the same time, they don't want that in their community, but we keep promoting crime and violence in our community. And who suffers? No one else suffers from that more than the black community. While these artists are making a lot of money, he's saying, guess what? I challenge you, change the culture. And this is what Candace Owens spoke about. And many people um, basically edit that clip and portrayed it to be something that she wasn't saying. No, I know that we don't always like what Candy says. We don't always agree with her. And we could see where she has influenced somewhat some of the problems that Ye is in right now. And what I mean by that, some of the things that Kanye said, he was feeding off what she said. Now we see where Kanye is not being sued. Candace is being sued because Candace works for the white people who truly loves her because she's, she, she talks about a lot of stuff that they want to hear. And only Candace Owens is bold enough to speak about those things. No, I must say that I agree with a lot of stuff that she says, but in the same sentence, I also disagree with a lot. However, all in all, Candace Owens has been saying that she doesn't want to be a part of that culture. We can change. She has always spoken about the music and so many people would go in on her saying that she wants to be like Cardi B. She wants to sing these songs. She wants to be twerking. Maybe she wants to be twerking, but maybe not to these songs because I myself do not like some of these songs. I think that there's too much um, sexual content and too much violence being portrayed in these songs but guys back to the subject at ad hasn't kanye showed us on his phone who controls what and who has been doing what and then kanye west got canceled because we love to say it's not what you say but how you said it but sometimes you cannot say what you want to say sometimes there is no right way of saying things irrespective of how you may position your words it may still result as 
you offending a community so much so that how dare you expose us we have to get you canceled because we can't afford for the black community to, to wake up and rise up against us we can't afford that so i believe that it's time for us to start paying attention to all the details around us kanye west may not be perfect i'm not saying that kanye isn't bipolar but all in all kanye west does speak facts more than 80 percent of the times and if he's speaking facts more than 80 percent of the times i'm gonna keep listening to him and i said to you guys initially i'm not gonna say kanye is um wrong for some of the things that that he has said because i've always seen kanye's words come to pass everything that he has said has already came to pass and is still coming to pass so it goes to pro prove that Kanye wasn't making any mischief. He wasn't being anti-Semitic. He was just speaking things for what they are. He has all those that years of experience in the music industry. And as such, he has been observing what has been happening around him. Many people would say, but Kanye got into the music industry knowing what it was. You being outside of something and having an and having idea, an idea, what it entails inside is actually different from actually being inside so that's all i want to share in this video with you guys take what resonates with you what doesn't resonate with you that is also okay also i want to hear from you guys let me know what your thoughts are give this video a big thumbs up share if you care and remember if you haven't subscribed as yet be sure to go ahead hit that subscribe button thanks for your time stay safe stay sweet stay blessed see you all next time bye guys